This is the price of the grape, $8 with this block here. Awesome, get some the jerk. We've been buying this box of chicken. This is cheaper too. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so I just realized that I haven't given you guys an update to like a fully, full, full, full grocery shopping video since the beginning of 2024. And that's not right. That not cute. You understand? I'm like, you know what? I'm actually going grocery shopping today. And this would be the perfect opportunity to give you guys like a full on grocery shopping not like me just running in the supermarket and i grab one and two two things as we jamaicans say but actually showing you guys me buying like you know groceries proper groceries you understand and that will kind of help you guys to have an idea of what the cost of living is like in canada since 2024 now as i always say i know there's a lot of noise all over the internet about the cost of living in canada so i do like to make these videos and i think they are appreciated because people outside of the country get an idea of what the cost of living is really like as well as the people who is planning to come as students immigrants whatever or you just want to know to compare where you are at to where i am at which is saskatoon saskatchewan canada so i feel like these videos are really appreciated and they're good so i'm going to do just that and i realized too that you guys support those kind of videos a lot and i was asking for the shopping video then so i'm going to deliver on that today so i'm about to run upstairs grab my list grab my two heartbeats and we're gonna head to real canadian superstore so come forward let's go shopping i have my list and i'm ready first place i always go is um huh first place i always go is up this side to get like body wash and those kind of things before I start buying food Bye. items. So that's what we're doing first. So most times I I get this or I just look for the ones with um that have the yellow tag because if you know you know once you have the yellow tag it means that it's on it's on sale or it's a discounted price. Sometimes I also go and look for the ones with um, the yellow tag and that will allow me sometimes to try different different ones. Um, but I like, these are my top two favorites. I like ivory, I like, um, and I like the iris spring. All right, so I'm actually going, I'm going to give the live burner uh, a, a chance um babe never liked them here but he liked this one which is the rejuvel re <laughs> revitalizing body wash um we said pranganat i don't know what to call this now pranganat me know it pranganat since babe what's the proper pronunciation pranganat pomegranate pomegranate okay pomegranate. that sense it's basically the same as the ivory but i just want to give it a try to see if it's something that i like so I'm gonna try to for you and I'll probably give enough feedback in a regular vlog. But yeah, but these are sale prices and $14.44, $9 something. And those are sale prices. The original prices would have been way more than that. Just to note. However, I showed you guys body wash, but if you are a bar soap person, of course you can get a a lot bar soap for these prices like three dollars something two dollars something three dollars something stuff like that going all the way up depending on the amount of bar soap that in it and also the brand i personally do not use bar soap anymore because i have a bath and it it really leaves a lot of soaps come on the bath and it just makes it get dirty too quickly and i don't like that so i don't use it but if you're for bath soap then you can get a cheaper alternative because you get more no guys, I'm, I'm just walking and I saw this. And I'm me not to fuck a breed. <laughs> no, and me plan for a breed like I want two years from now. Why one but one thing I feed and I feed sixty dollar basically. Really? I still find that one. I'm going to milk out them breasts here. here. 
Like what? Yeah, but me not use any any brand. This is the brand I used for a Johnny Good Start oh, when really? he was a baby. Yeah, because I did my research and it was one of the best. But all I want in a milk of a sixty dollar basically. Well, there's eh? some. Then me not go pump till me not go pump my breast them like a cow. <laughs> That's the sale price. This is the actual price, sixty two dollar ninety nine. Some sweet pepper that's the cost for green sweet pepper for a pound. That's the cost for like cut the yellow, the red, the yellow. I give you guys an idea per pound. These prices will fluctuate sometimes. You'll see them for like a dollar a pound. It all depends. And then you have others for like five dollar something. Sometimes I'll just buy these just to have like pepper in the house. It's not all the time I can go to like the African store or go get pepper that I'm used to. So I like to keep this pepper. It's very hot and it kind of like to still have it to like burn into like the oil, etc. Um, Serrano and it is for five dollars. So I always kind of grab up one and it served me for a very long time too. So yeah. Scallion or green onions, you have that, and you have the organic. I usually just go with the regular, and these are what the bunch are the the the, the stock is looking like, which is this is a little bit if you ask me, but hey, like sometimes they're bigger than this, but they get smaller and smaller. So I just usually go through and find one that it makes sense. Well, find two that makes sense because I can't really buy a lot because they also spoil very easily. So two proper bunches, and I'm good to go. This is the price for ginger. I usually buy this loose, loose one so I can actually go to look, feel, and decide like what I want to buy. So, yeah. And them kind of look ugly enough to kind of look like them organic. I don't know. I like when them too, too pretty. It's giving me Everybody not real. Feel up. That's the cost for broccoli $3.49 a pound. Sometimes that price will go down and up depending. Sometimes it's one dollar something, sometimes it's two dollar something, but that's what we're working with this week. I think that's the price for the tomato. I'm not really sure because the price is around here, but the tomatoes are on the other section. Um, this might be the price. When I bought it the other day, it was this price, or maybe. And they have them around here, but no price, of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up some. All right, so this is what the price is for sweet potato, $2.49 per pound. You have these over here, but I don't know which yam that because the whole of the yam them look the same way. And I don't want to buy one yam and them to a different kind of yam. So I just work it women to the most. So these are okay. To be honest, I kind of like these a little bit more. But I don't know if this is the... Alright, so I looked on the code. So I realized that this price is for these. So I'm going to go with these. And it's the cup, you know, you know, maybe like a phone or whatever. It's just to like have so me I cook a dumpling and something. I have something to go with my dumpling. Um, and I'm gonna have to dumpling. So I'm gonna just get a few of these in a bag and yeah. Alright, so I came you know so I'm always in the superstore. So I came the other day and I saw potato yellow and I bought a bag. So I don't need to buy potatoes today. And this is why anytime I see to buy it because there is empty and I wanted to point this over my Jamaican the potato that says yellow that's the one that you're supposed to buy that's the one that is soft and creamy and give you your gravy that nice look of nice body yeah you have to buy the potato that says yellow the other one them not gonna give it you know like over oh, look at Irish Jamaican and give it that nice um thick thickness this is the potato that does that and you can get 10 pounds for like eight dollar ninety nine so yeah okay for cabbage I usually just go with the the one that says cabbage green and today it's for $9.97 so that's a way that's a drop in comparison to what it's been like which is probably like a dollar hasn't been expensive and usually I just go through and look for like a nice size these are smaller than what I usually see they are usually big so maybe that's why they're so cheap so I'm going to go through and look for um, a nice one and put it there and these things when I really buy them not because foreign food spoil quick I am 
done with the vegetable now it's time to get a little fruit um, and then move on to a different section so Adani likes the red delicious so he's gonna go ahead and find a bag Adani find the apples please Okay, so this is the one that Adani likes, which is the red delicious. It's good. It's just that sometimes they'll be soft, and I personally don't like soft apples. Um, I don't buy the bag anymore for myself because when I eat them so quick, and they'll get soft, and then I don't want them. And then she have to give them away. Yeah, and then I have to give them away. So what I do for myself instead, every week I just come and I just hand pick what I'm gonna use for the week for my lunch because I do a food plate for my lunch. And I buy these two dollar ninety nine per pounds. I actually love this one, and they're not easily soft, so I work with this one. That's what I do for myself. I Johnny buy the bag. Did I show you guys the price for the bag of apples? I Johnny buy. Let me run around there. All right. So usually it would be nine ninety nine for the bag. Um, five pounds come in there. However, the one that I Johnny picked up today, Red Delicious, actually on sale. So yeah, that's what I was paying for. This is the price of the grape, eight dollars. This fluctuates too, but it has been like eight dollars. Sometimes we'll get them on sale for like five dollars something, but for the most part, eight dollars is the price for a container. So we just go through, look for one. We have to look through, we have to look at the bottom because sometimes they'll be mixed with square ones. So we're gonna look ahead and grab two containers of grapes. I'm not buying detergent because I don't need to have at home, but I'm just showing you guys the price. I don't use the liquid anymore. I use the pods. So I usually use the pods, not the liquid. But that's the price, basically. So this is how I buy my liquid, uh, dishwashing liquid. I usually buy this big bottle and it serves it for a long time at a spite and refill a smaller bottle each time and it's on sale for $8.99 usually like $10.99 and it lasts me a good while um i buy this yeah about two months i buy this brand the only way i don't buy, buy this brand is if they don't have it and then i'll buy the dawn but to me this holds a lot more this is the tissue that i use that i buy now normally for twenty one dollar ninety nine it's a lot coming there it served me for a long time um however i'm not out of this so i don't need to buy it but you just two months is still right babe huh? about two months more. about two months or so so that's a good buy for me i don't need to buy this but i'm gonna buy paper towel so these are the different type of paper towel and prices that's the bounty that's four rolls that come in that one and you have different different ones um when you don't know me we just work with what cheap at the moment it's not a big deal for me i don't have a problem coming back so sometimes i'll just do this one the no name brand or the sponge towel depending on which one is given in price Ouch. so i'm gonna go and baby i'm tip to them and come please and get that which one, one? And it's for eleven dollars ninety nine. Anyone is the same thing. All right, guys. I'm gonna go with the sponge because, to be honest, I bought that one last month, and the problem I'm having is the rolls are not as thick. And either way, we're using them quickly, so I'm not really saving. The sponge is really good, really fluffy, really nice. So I'm just gonna go with that one. But it depends on you and what you want for yourself. <laughs> Commercial. <laughs> Picking up air pressure for my thingy. I have that in my house. So I usually buy the refills for it. Um, it's at the entrance of my house, so you know, and they come in this for a little niceness. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. I like which one do you guys like more? It. All right, I'm gonna choose a scent and pick up one. So I'm going with this one. I don't remember which one I like more. If it's this or this, Ajani said this one, but I think it's this one I like more though. This is the one I like. Beach Escape. Sorry, Ajani, get all water. So we're in this aisle to get Ajani some. Soda, you know when they have kids in the house really really and truly a johnny is probably like the person that really drink juice the most um 
So he's gonna go ahead and pick up like two containers of sodas or whatnot. So he's buying that so one. I usually buy like two of cream. these. Or at the bottom. Let's um let cause help you fit them in. Um so two of these twelve come in one of them and one is it's on sale now for six dollar fifty. Original price is seven dollar something and we usually buy two. Um yeah. He's gonna pick another flavor. And they're all basically the same size in regardless of the 12 each. Alright, so we're in um, one of the snack aisles. This one basically have like cookies, candies, whatever. It's one of the snack aisles. So Johnny just picked up this. Is this one, right? This one and it's, that's the price for it. $2.49 for one. But it's on sale now for one. Ooh, $1.97. Alright, that's not bad. It looks zesty. Oh well. So for the most part, I usually like pick up these for our journey. Um, the stock pack, they're usually like for $9 something, like $9 something, or $8 something for them. So I'm just gonna let them go through and pick up, pick up one that you're, actually, that, right? uh, that you're actually going to eat. The things them in there. If you see anything that you're not gonna eat, the things them in there, don't buy that one. Do you like that one? Well, you don't eat that one. Anyways, I'm gonna let him pick up the other one. Oh, I'm gonna pick up the other one. I don't think I'm gonna eat that one. I'm gonna eat that one. Alright, so we're, he's working with this one. He, he don't eat this one. So be able to eat them here. <laughs> me like them, but me know my say no. So be able to eat them on here and yeah. Demolish them. Demolish. <laughs> Anyways. Start from scratch. Right, Adrian is also getting Pringles and this is for three dollar ninety nine. So, oh, it's two different sizes, in a baby. So you have this one that we're used to, you know, this size, no, um, two dollar fast in it. You want a big, big one? No, no, I take the one we use. Oh, my mean size. Oh, they don't have the flavor in this one, are you saying? Okay. So y'all know like once no name things are hitting, I'll continue to buy them. So I usually buy this oil, it's like half gallon oil, well three, three liters to be exact. Um, and today is what eight dollars twenty nine. For me, that is a good price. Um, it's a lot coming there. I don't know why them been up, been up and look so, but this is basically. I don't know why it been up and look so. Oh, baby, come. Oh, okay. Just like that, my strong body man. Just like that. Anyway, this is what it looking like. A nice, big, decent. It can last for a long time. So I just work with this one. I'm not picky when it comes to oil. So do you? Last month they didn't have any no name ones, so we bought this one. This one has four liters, so we still have a little bit of this oil. Well, yeah, but well, maybe down here, so oil left at home. This one's a four dollar ninety nine, but um, I know that it's gonna be finished, and I don't want to come back from the scrubbing one, anyways. All right, so I don't want um, what is called salsa, salsa, and tortillas. What are what I call? Tostillos, whatever. So you want that chips there and salsa. So go ahead, baby. Wait, no. Make sure you read the bottle properly Tostitos. because it's different types of um, salsa. Make sure you read the bottle as the right one you're picking up. Medium. So they're this, all medium. This is the chips. Yes. It's like a, it has a little dent in the middle. So, not it's like a oh, so he's buying the one with the dent in all the middle of them in this for. World. $5.49. Let me see the price. Let's show the picture on the price. That's it. And this, the salsa sauce is for. So the salsa sauce is for $4.69. So instead of chips, of the the puffing in the middle. Let me say puffing in the middle. Mm -hmm. So let's work with it. Alright, so I need to get a mayonnaise again. No name I do it. Even though I know name one you don't know which one there's two types and anyways. I'm going to look for a mayonnaise. But anyway, this is basically what you're working with four dollars up for this one, which actually don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Because this one is for four dollars seventy nine. So it's better to just get the bigger one. That's for the no name brand. Miracle whip. Yeah, but I think we did buy the one. So I want them for five. It's good. Don't show me it out. Oh, we're baby. We're just gonna go with this one. Commercial break. <laughs> 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 
So they have two international section, this one and that one. Okay, they're moving from six to eight. No, I think everything over that side now. Oh, so I usually buy this brand peas. Chick. Chick. And I buy a click. A click? Yes, sir, yeah. Oh, yeah, you make the wrong things. Anyways, correction, guys. It's it called was... click. Um, it's an international tease, yeah. and I usually buy this one, but the darker one because they they like they like the kidney bean over the roll red. I don't think I care much. Um, yeah, do the round rate. Do, do, do the round rate this time. Do the round rate, yeah. Okay. So sometimes yeah, I buy. Yes. Yeah, me sometimes I buy this one, which is the darker one. But um, the whole thing for round red today. Me have for round red. Well, baby, I for round red to make a buy that one, and it's for three dollar forty nine. So that's for that one, and the kidney bean would have been for three dollar ninety nine. And you know what I'm saying? It never said here though it was two dollars something. But anyways, we're not talking about that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so we came in the other day and we saw Chubby. They have the pineapple, banana, and the blue flavor there for 70, yeah. 79 cents. Yeah, so I picked up some for myself, for Ajani, and they picked up some, and Ajani just picked up some more. What did you pick up? Every flavor. So you picked up different, different flavors in there. Mm. So I usually I get my crackers in here, but I, I picked up a crackers in the week. So when I buy them for crackers, we can get malta. Sometimes I pick up malta, the vitamin was there, coconut water, and stuff like that. Parmies, all different type of things. So let's get what we came for. Alright, I usually buy the one that says the juice up because it tastes less um raw. Like the corned beef here don't really taste like the one in Jamaica. They taste like I have this raw taste. But, and I don't buy a lot of it because of that. I just buy one for like just taste up my mouth at one time. <laughs> Pretty much. And then, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was walking here. <laughs> and then, of course, I usually get my Kalaloo here. The Kalaloo is for $2.99. So I'm going to take up two tins of this. Um, one day I'm going to cook the Kalaloo for you guys because when I post it on Instagram, a lot of people are asking me if that's really tin Kalaloo. And I've always been told that when I cook it, it doesn't look like tin color loose. So one day I'm going to do it for you guys and show you how I do it. I'm no, I don't get angle milk to sell, so I'm going to show you guys one day. But that's the price for it. And the corned beef is for a ball crackers when I came in the wheat. That's right. The corned beef is for four dollar seventy nine. So I just wanted to put no, that's the halal one. I think it's I think it's the same thing though. Four dollar seventy nine for one of them. Usual price is four dollar ninety nine. You can get condensed milk, one dollar ninety nine for condensed milk. Baby, I need the condensed milk for your oats. Are you good? All right, so he's good. I don't really, you know, so I kind of avoid the milk as much as I can. You have malts, olives, every little thing. This is like a Jamaican section, which I really appreciate. All right, so I'm going now to get some seasoning. So I have Maggie All Purpose. So I'm not gonna pick up any, but I'm out of this. Y'all don't judge me. I do like to have it in the house whenever I decide MSG. to use it. So yes, I do use MSG, but not a lot and not all the time. And this is the pepper sauce that I've been using because we can't get the greatest one. And we can't bother travel all the way over the east side because I got it. So I'm gonna never yes. pronounce it, but if you can pronounce it, tell me in the comment section. This is the one that I've been using and it's given. It's given. It's not bad at all. But I still miss the scotch scotch bonnet one from Spirit the tree. Uh, but that's way over east side alone. It there. The last time my friend bought it for me and brought it to my house, but I can't bother with that. We now spare tree. Spirit. Um this is the curry that I was using. The curry is finished, but Mr. Miller got the opportunity to get the better for which part? Place. All right, let's pick up this. That lasts long still. All right, so this is the curry that we've been using. I think this is the same brand. I don't know what's the difference, but I think it's the same, same crew running company. One Which one you like? One for goat and one for like for everything. Okay, where you like more? The goat no, one. And I go to the. I go. This does not. I go to the. We have the regular one. Oh, okay. So we're gonna just buy this. I probably still go and get the better for curry, but I know I'm gonna get it, and I don't like to be out of curry in my house because we're kind of curry people. So I just buy the cool runnings, a lot come in there, yeah. And it's for curry $5.49. Curry. Curry oh, and then the oh the curry goat one is 
would be for really i never realized that six to like 29 but i feel like i used to do it other always but anyway that's the price for them they have other season i bought this but no 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 it's not really giving are you want to feel better for also, I'm getting the jerk season. Y'all know me can't do it. I look at jerk season because you know I'm all of the Jamaican spices. Then time I want to look at extra kick there. Commercial moment. Mm -hmm. And it's for $4.49. Right there. So that's not so bad at all. I don't see any mackerel. I don't know what one from the other day. Look a big, nice, chunky mackerel in my babe like. I'm going to see it from the other day. Here, see, I like it, baby. And and see, like everything me like yeah, it. And then yeah. say you like it too much. Not <laughs> but I'm not seeing any mockery. Mm-hmm. Alright, so y'all know this is the right that I've been using. I'm gonna stick to it because we can't bother. So I use the rooster rice extra long green. Extra fancy long green. And it works for me. <laughs> and it worked for me. It's for $16.99 and this is like 18 pounds. So usually this does not really last us for the month. We by the time maybe like the last week of a come grab one or I mean, you know. Yeah. I think it lasts for like two weeks and a half or something like that. So I'm gonna have to come grab a next one. Ideally, ideally I want this big bag. But they don't have it in the long grain, only in the jasmine. And if on a day or long time, and I know I don't like jasmine, I don't like basmati, but I don't like not the high price thing. Oh, this is another international aisle okay. section that I show you guys. I'm coming to get some sugar. So this is the sugar that I use. Uh, either this one or this brand. I either one of them I will take. This brand is the. I don't know what I'm calling it, you know, but it's an international brand. No, I don't want this one though. Because I realize this one is there. This one is a little bit cheaper. $9.49. No, that big bag. Yeah. Yeah. So this, I don't know, is in quality. quality brown sugar. And then this one is, this is a very popular brand. This one I have at home. Now I'm going to have like this left. So I'm not done Sarge. yet. I'm gonna have like this amount left. So it served me for a long time. So I'm just gonna grab that one. But yeah. Okay, I didn't realize to tell you guys. So this is 10 pounds. 10 pounds come in there. And the other brand is also 10 pounds. That's why I said to you that I'm buy this one. It's a little bit cheaper, not far. But you know, every look of every look of Miku. Like a Miku or whatever. Yeah. So I'm just grabbing this one. 10 pounds can serve us for a very long time. Alright, so this is the coconut milk that I still use, even though the only problem I'm having with it now when it's in the fridge, I find that it gets um cake up. That's the only problem I'm having with it. Last time I put it in a glass bottle, it was a little bit better, but it's the real deal in terms of thickness. It's the real deal, okay? Better real size. This. And it's for um three dollar ninety nine i don't know it's a kick grace yeah. but and it's i can get like three rice and peas out of this <laughs> coconut tea all right so this is the salt i've been buying for a couple of months um it's for two dollar twenty nine and i keep buying it because to me it's a good amount come in there and it's actually salt no not all the salt them here salt i don't know if i explained that too no. yeah like you have to if it says tables no, none of these. I don't mean, know. If it say, some of them just don't salt. They have to use more than the usual to it's get the taste that you want. But this one works for me. I buy it in the soup for in international food aisles. I kill it. The salt and salt. I kill it. This Kalas. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's some one of those Asian brands, I believe. So that's what I've been buying. I've been buying it. <laughs> kill it. Right, you guys see when I get sick, I've been telling you about the herb that I'm going to buy. So this is the herb that I keep telling you guys about from this brand. It's some Asian people brand, I know. And it's for $5.49. It also only co it comes with like the chamomile, chamomile, al chamomile alone for $6.49. Maybe I should buy this instead of the tea bag, but the tea bags are so convenient. Um, this also has chamomile in it as well and I also buy this in it the sage leaf 
I also buy the sage leaf. If you don't know, sage is very good for respiratory problems and cold and all of those stuff as well. Okay, get with it. Um, I've been buying these no name sardines. <laughs> what do you know? In at this point, no name can sign me, no, no problem. One dollar forty nine. I've been buying these. I like what they're packaged so nice and cute. Maybe that's how I buy them. Yeah, and it tastes good, nice and cute in a little box, and then the tin now is in it. It's nice, it's even. So I buy that. Alright, so I probably showed you guys what this is the seal I buy for myself. It's for $5.47. Original price would be for $7.49 because it's a big pack. But I usually just buy the big pack because to me, the small pack is like $3 or something, but the regular one would be $5 or something, and I know if that makes sense to buy the small one. So I usually just buy. Oh shit! I just buy the big one. This is my seat. This tastes better than that. So this is the one that be like. Well, this it don't the, taste the regular. The regular. That one tastes better. This tastes better Inside than this that. tastes better than this. But I like this, and I get, I have like almonds in there, and I like almonds. This is the shit. Whatever. You can try it, guys, if you and let me know. Try this one. Special, we name K. Special K. Special K. Foolish. And what's that one, babe? Oatmeal crisp. Oatmeal crisp. So I'm gonna put them side by side. Guys, try these in your local supermarket or whatever, and let me know which one tastes better. If I eat both of them, which one tastes better? This is mine. And this is <laughs> your bad mind, so. So mine tastes better. So um, I'm gonna get some. We call it baked bean in our Jamaica. This are bean not tomato sauce. So you have to look though because you have different different ones. But the minute the one that says beans in tomato sauce, it tastes like the baked bean that you would get in Jamaica. Um you have different different ones. You have maple, you have all different kinds. Once it says in tomato sauce, then that, that's the one that tastes like the one in Jamaica. One dollar fifty. Yeah, with pork, you have all kind of different stuff. You just have to look and see. And it's the one I usually get though. Let me get some of these. Hold on. And I also like their green peas in it. Um, babe likes to make chicken in green peas. And you know, it's usually very, very shot. good. Yeah, usually shot for two. So I'm gonna get some of these too for that. Hold on. All right, so for sweet corn, I stick to Green Giant because to me, that's one of the best ones I've found. I tried different, different ones, but I like this one. Also, it took me a while to find the one that was actually like sweet corn. So let me just let you guys know if you're new here, you maybe know, you maybe don't know the one that says peaches and cream. That's the one that tastes like sweet corn that you would buy in Jamaica or wherever you're from. So just take note of that. If you take, if you buy these, the ones I used to buy, it just tastes like corn. But these taste like sweet corn. So this is the one that goes well with like my corned beef or if more put it on the side or put it in a like mashed potato, this one goes very, very well. Peaches and cream. And it's for $1.99. So I've been using Matelaseno, no name. Need for sign me. I'm never going to I'm not hyping up. I'm going to prefer by no name. But I've been using the no name flower. This one is for $3.77. And this is. Barren. <laughs> this is um so um five pounds um all purpose flour so that's why this one um I have flour at home. No flour in the bottle? I don't know, I don't think I I have flour but with me I'm gonna have an unopened one. I can't recall you making flour last flour last I don't know. <laughs> I remember mean, my flour again, I forget to check the pantry that buddy. I never opened a big container or something. But it's my if you know if it, if I have more, all the better. So that's the one I buy. And you have bigger ones like this big one with a 10 pound. Which sometimes I buy the 10 pound. I used to buy no 11 pound. I used to buy this, but when I eat flour so, so much, that's how I stuff. So yeah. But this is for six dollars forty nine. So you have little foreign, medium foreign, and big foreign. I'm big for it. <laughs> I tried this vanilla the other day and it never saw but in the NTME trying for no name and it tastes like it can't work. But that's work with this you know. Oh so mega try this because the one will have a home finish. So let's get there. 
Guys, they have this pizza, it right? Smell good. It's called Jamaican jerk. But look for the container. Smell good. And it's $5.99 and we can get the grace jerk season running. So I don't know if you feel like. You want to try it? Alright. Babe, I'm going to try it. When I'm going to try it, I'm going to try it. 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 I'm going all right, guys. Y'all know this is the milk. Okay, this it's is the milk. milk. Yeah. Bye. Uh -huh. This is the milk, guys. Yeah. So I buy this milk or the oat milk, um, vanilla, right? But this one is the truth. And the other day they didn't have any for a long time. So you know what I'm gonna do now? Cup. Let me see. It expires. A tulip? Me a cup this for them. It expires. I don't know. I drink them for anyway, still. I yeah. can't these once I buy them, they're not in the fridge so they'll last for a long time and Since until I open them. No man, there. something there at the back. What? No? Oh no, <laughs> see that? Hey, and them never have it for a while. But if you see this and you try it. Hey. Let me tell you this, when we come here, nobody never there buy that it's milk It's the there. truth, yeah? Not nobody milk. never there buy that. Like, it's so good, it's unbelievable it's not milk for true. <laughs> it's that good. It's shot, man. So good. Yeah, one name for dirty. It's, I think it's spoiled. No, really so you know, never make me that shit. I don't know if it's spoiled, I'm going to try it. So I'm going to also grab one of these. Yeah, I don't know. So, so I have these for my cereal. Yeah, pull it and drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the nut milk, the price is for $4.99. I don't know if it's shown now. That's the price for the nut milk. And the oat milk is for $3.79. Let's go. This is the chicken strips that I usually buy for Johnny. It's for $10. And a lot comes in there. But a Johnny have half a bag at home, so I'm not going to buy it. So a sausage done. Them, them start make sausage now. And we... We've been buying this brand for ten dollar as well. Most of it, this company, them think that is for ten dollar. Guys, let us see that ten dollar for them cotton, and they come, come carry a lot of stuff. Um, these jumbo like hot dogs. hot dogs, but they're actually good. So we usually get this as well. Put this in the thing for the They have a lot of things in it: meatballs, all type of stuff that's easy for kids to just um, prepare and go. And they also have a seafood line. So when you see the blue ones, that's the seafood line. And Ajani usually get this. Squid wings, he likes to him fry them. But he also have half bar, can you check? Essentially, so that. The other day I tried their salmon. And they have like, I'm gonna try this one day. And curry, I don't know. And them have different, different stuff. But it's a good brand. And everything is like $10. So that's reasonable. And over Guys. Oh god, look your eggs. You see egg gone to oh ten dollars something so I'm surprised. You know what I'm gonna see egg pan sale? Eight dollars seventy nine. That's why it's a clean out. But they've gone and get out of that fridge. You know what I'm gonna see eggs for eight dollars seventy nine? It went to ten dollars something. But we're going to get um this one. So babe and Ajani eat this egg the white egg no name eggs y'all know by now i don't eat that anymore i just eat the brown organic one but me have eggs rich people flex whatever <laughs> my have eggs so i'm gonna have an egg i hope you can't want to meet them we're gonna meet now you know yeah but you know full of hope yourself all right we're gonna organize the challenge and come back time to buy meat but my battery i didn't know me i pray say it can last enough for me to finish this vlog for you guys so let me go right over here first and grab me some saltfish. I like to have saltfish in the house. When I just started to buy saltfish, it was like for twelve dollars something. Every time I come, the saltfish is now this saltfish. Look at this, fifteen dollars ninety nine. The last time I came, it was like for thirteen dollars or fourteen dollars. So, but anyways, it's always good to have selfish in the house and we're gonna grab it though I'm talking about the increase in price because the life is life and it's whatever. $15.99. Maybe that? We have, we have a big piece in there. We have yeah, yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's it. This one. I think I'm gonna buy that one then. You never know. I'm also gonna pick up a, a $6.99. No, I usually, I always buy this for other only kind of half for lunch purposes so it's easy this is so easy for me to prepare 
with mashed potato or rice or whatever for lunch. So always kind of always come for him. Probably buy like um, um, my goat meat or mutton. Um, and to be honest, I'm gonna even know because. I think I don't know which one is the price, but I don't know which one is which one because sometimes one sell goat and one sell lamb, but let's pick up one. But for the most easy, that's $23.99 or $27.99 mega pay. And let's take more out of this. I don't have time to cut up that. And, and, and this is the bag. Decent amount, heavy, nice. And I actually want to start, I don't want this one. This one comes like a whole heap of ice tonight. I'm going to look for you, I want to look fresh. But I buy this one, but I'm actually going to check out a, a meat shop here. And I want to actually check out the boot, the farms and stuff. But for now, I'm just buy my local bag and check out myself. Alright, so we've been buying this box of chicken. Hey, cheaper too. Oh, no, this I box said. of chicken. Um, so this time it's for $28. Did you say it? Yeah, the back and the leg. See okay. there? Leg and BA. Yeah, for $29. Sometimes it's 30 sometimes it's 50 You never know. But a good amount comes in it. We get two big. You guys remember the last time I showed you guys? Yeah, I'm taking the show on one time. A lot come in there. Yeah, I see so a this. And this is a 15. Oh, so this is the one that we bought last time. With the two parcels in it. And it's actually cheaper too. It's $15 yeah. and a lot come in there. I see, I see my mouth coming like that. Oh, okay, put that in there and let's go get some more. For my battery, Dad. I wanted to cup some stew beef. I wanted to cup some stew beef. This is the price for $19.12. And I have that. So I'm going to look, you know, me to look and dig up, dig up, and look what's up on next thing. But I think I want some beef too to go with some meat. And I'm going to pick up some more chicken. So we'll find some other beef here, which we'll let them have more in there. So we're gonna swap it over the one we're up for a pack that has more in there, like this one, twenty-five dollars, and it have a lot in there. So, we're look so when I'm buying jumpstick, I bought buy this. I think a superstore do this by themselves. It don't really have no brand or not funny, so it's their thing. Um, and they're normally reasonable, like thirteen dollars, eight dollars. Sometimes them all at $12, whatever. So I'm just gonna look through and go to the back. Some kind of ones at the bottom is fresher. And I'm gonna pick out two of these to make my bags. So my mixed part bags. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna look for two of these to make my mixed part bags and then get some size. And then they have these now, these size. And also, usually they're also less. Like, I don't know, sometimes it's like what this is for. I call this is for like thirteen dollars. Most time you'll see that for that. And look, that's a lot that comes in there. I've like watched the best before price. So it depends on how quickly you're gonna cook it. I don't make a me come from it. It's look extra. It's not kill me. But yeah, I'm gonna also take two packs of these. Too. So I'm going to get some wings to go to make. You know, no so for the mixed parts bag. I like to have leg thigh and wings. So I'm gonna get one of these. I don't see the other brand that I usually buy, but these are not so bad. Um, fifteen dollars for this one. So I'm gonna do this bacon. The no-name bacon is for five dollars. Um, this is a sale price. It's not usually this cheap either. So I'm just gonna go with this. The slices are nice and thin, so let's go ahead with this one. So and them need to um, have breakfast. Oh, wings. So I've been buying the no name, but what's your people them say, uh uh? So you know what look for cheap. cheap, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna buy the Imperial, and today is for $5.99. It's actually on sale, it's usually for $8 something. Um, yeah, and I have you see the other day I came and uh, look here, I can't believe it. Not when I bought it was for one dollar. Gone, so I'm gonna tell them, should I pick up some more? She's gonna pick up two, gone. Was on sale. I have never tried this um, no name English muffin, but I'm gonna try it. Um, oh, this one have sandwich and this one have egg. I'm gonna know what I'm gonna say. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Wait, baby. And then I'm gonna cup um, bread. Oh, we need um, we need we have what do you call it? This 
hot dog, dog bun. bun. Guys, look at what hot dog bun has come to. Three dollar forty nine for hot dog bun, and yeah, we have hot dog bun. No. No, no, no. I'm gonna get a pack of these. So I'm just gonna check the freshness. Okay, first, of course. Made it so I guess that's good enough. This is what we have so far, guys. We're just getting breads now. And then we're gonna cash out. My battery died, so baby's is gonna soon. This is what Wonder Bread is now, three dollars sixty nine. Um, the six price. This is the six price. So this right here is everything that we bought pretty much and the total came to $485.05 so that's the total tell me what you think was this a good buy or not okay so you guys know that superstar will come through with something free so this is what we got this time around it's banana boats like a package of banana boats i've actually never used any of these products so this is kind of a good opportunity i guess to try out the brand so this is a, it's a small beanie wipe so i guess i can when the small one in my bag so i can just carry it in my bag so it's really tiny and then now these are what the products look like on the outside so I guess as I test these out, I'll let you guys know what I think. And if it's good like that, I will actually try the brand. So, yeah. So, that's it for this grocery shopping vlog. Um, I tried to show you guys as much as I could and try to zone in or zoom in on the prices so you can have a clear idea of what the cost of living is like here in Canada in 2024 the last one i did like this was in 2023 and y'all know prices have been going up and down so it's good to give you guys like an updated version of that i know a lot of people want to know and a lot of people are saying it ain't it in canada and them can't buy no and i want potato them can't buy as edawa kofat that we have said them say and what that means you know so it's good to kind of be able to show you guys for yourselves so you can see what it's like and i i'm sure the clip that you saw before this i would have in i would have inserted the total that i paid for you to have a clear idea i will look at the receipts and insert that so you should be seeing that already so tell me what you think did i get value for my money um when you shopping do you spend more than that am i overspending am i underspending did i do good did i save did i not let you know, me know what you think what is it that i bought that you think that probably i shouldn't have you wouldn't have bought 
what other brand you think i could substitute for the ones i bought that would get better value for my money things like that you know we're all learning from each other so definitely let me know what you think and you know let's have a conversation about this grocery shopping this cost of living that everybody is talking about um these days anyways make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already leave a comment share this video with a friend somebody you know like this kind of content or can benefit from it in any way what else me leave remember to put a thumbs up on the video i will see you in the next one for sure you know say i'm back and i'm doing the thing okay um stay positive as always you gain nothing by being negative until next time bye bye Today's positive vibe quote, I am better than yesterday. I just do what comes natural.